Okay guys, we are back in the shop again today. My name is Luther from Luther's Woodworking. Uh, thanks for stopping by my channel. Um, you probably hear the furnace in the back there running. Hopefully it'll go off. Hopefully you can hear me. But today we're going to do a little word art on the scroll saw. Um, and basically that is um, you, you create a pattern just using a phrase or words or, or whatever saying you want to do and you just cut it out on the scroll saw. Uh, today it's going to be kind of a quick video because the only two words that I'm going to cut out are the words kiss and the word hugs. Um, I designed these patterns using Inkscape and I'll put a I'll put a link below in the description for Inkscape. It's a free program you can use um, to design uh, scroll saw patterns or modify PDFs and all kinds of stuff you can do with it. Also, there are a lot of YouTube videos out there explaining how to use Inkscape. It's a little bit of a learning curve to it. Um, also, Steve Good at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com um, also has videos on modifying PDFs and uh, doing things with Inkscape. So check him out. But today we're just doing, like I said, the word hugs and kiss. Um... And I'm going to explain at the end of the video why I'm only doing them two words. This is kind of a fun project. So, um, And then when I do design these here, because I'm going to make a bunch more of these uh, hugs and kisses. I usually print out a whole page like this here, Inkscape. Um, that way if I want to make more of these uh, hugs and kisses, I can make as many as I want. Um, and at the end of the video, I will explain why I'm only doing these two words. Um, so we're going to head over to the scroll saw. Now, one thing I want to remember, uh, when you design a um, word out art for uh, scroll saws, um, you want to pick a font that is basically scroll saw friendly. Um, you don't want a real complicated font because you're going to have to type your words in the program you're going to have to uh, edit that word. You're going to have to probably move the letters one way or the other to make everything fit and work. Um, there's no inside cuts on these uh, words. Everything's cut completely all the way around so you don't have to take your blade out. So like I said, there's a little bit of a learning curve with Inkscape, but it's a great program to um, do all kinds of scroll saw work, uh, patterns, and everything. So check that out. So we're going to head over to the scroll saw, cut these out, and then we're going to come back to this bench. All right, here we are at the scroll saw. We're going to start cutting on these words, get these cut out. They don't take uh, very long to cut out.
Okay, so we got uh, them two cut out. We're going to head back over to the workbench and uh, finish it up. Okay, we are back at the workbench. Got my coffee. And um, we just got to take the, take the tape and the pattern off of these uh, names. Something I probably don't like to do, but it's got to be done. And then we'll end up sanding these. Now you want to make sure you get all the tape off. Sometimes this uh, clear tape is hard to see on these pieces of wood. So we have all the tape taken off that one. And that's why, too, uh, when you pick your font out for doing these names or these words, pick something simple out. I don't know the exact name right now offhand of this font, um, but pick something that's uh, scroll saw friendly so it's easy to cut out. Okay, so we have the tape all removed on both of these. So um, next thing you're going to want to do is to sand all these um, pieces. I just use like a, one, a 120. I don't know. I use this board right here with sandpaper attached to it. I think it's a 120 or something. That'll get these uh, nice and smooth. And you can go around the edges if you want a little bit with some sandpaper. But um, actually they turn out pretty nice. There's the kiss. And here's the hugs. Now, you can paint these, stain them. I got some right here that I did stain two different colors. This is, I think I stained it like an oak color. If you look at the difference between non-stained and oak. And then I got one that's a, a darker, darker color here. So you can stain these all different colors. Um, you could paint them. Uh, decorate them any way you want but the main reason I am cutting out just hugs and kisses is because I make about oh 25 30 of these and I I keep them all in my car um, when I go to a restaurant or to a flea market or any place you know outside my house I travel I keep these in my cars because if you go to a restaurant say to, I like to Tell the waitress, oh, she did a good job. You think you deserve a hug. So the waitress thinks that you want to give her a hug. She doesn't know you. But then you just pull this out of your pocket. You give her a hug. And I'll guarantee you, you're going to get a smile out of her. I mean, she'll, she'll take it. She can have it. And uh, she'll she really like it. So um, I do that um, all over. If you go to a family function or, or anywhere, and if you just... 
come up with some idea on uh, a reason why you'd want to give somebody a hug or a kiss, they're going to kind of think that they're going to look at you funny or whatever at first, but then when you pull this out and give this to them, um, you're going to you're going to get a smile out of their face, and it's really fun some of the reactions that you get when you give these hugs and kisses out. Like if you did it to a total stranger, I mean, you'd have to be kind of careful um, on uh, how you approach it. But they, I've never had a problem. I've given out so many of these hugs and kisses. Um, I I wish I would have known this years ago when I did craft shows, because um, I used to always take my squirrels all the way to the show, and I would I could have made these and gave them out. So it's a fun. Fun thing to do. You get a lot of laughs, a lot of smiles from people, and they enjoy you giving them something that you made, handmade out of wood. So I would give it a try. I have fun with it all the time. I carry these in my uh, pocket. Like if I go to inside of a restaurant, I'll grab a couple of these from my pocket. So I have fun with these anywhere I go. Um, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because I do have more videos coming out. And um, go on Inkscape, design some of these, cut them out. You will have some fun giving hugs and kisses out to people you may not even know. So we'll see you next time on my next video.